I mean, Jimmy Carter has literally become such an anti-Israel bigot that there's a kind of special place in hell reserved for somebody like that. He has no sympathy or understanding for the suffering of the Jewish people, the plight of the Jewish people. He loves every Muslim extremist he can find. He thought the former president of Syria, uh, Assad, was a wonderful man. He bounced Yasser Arafat's children on his knee and loved Yasser Arafat and his crooked wife who stole $3 billion from the Palestinian people. But he never had a kind word to say about uh, almost any Israeli except a few on the hard left who tended maybe to agree with him. Not a kind word to say about Menachem Begin, one of your heroes. Not a kind word to say about uh, even people who are universally admired, um, Prime Minister Rabin. Uh, if, if you're an Israeli, Carter doesn't like you. And if you're an Arab or a Muslim, he likes you. Talk now about one other wrinkle that has emerged in this long, long primary campaign. Mm-hmm. It seems to me, Alan, that there has been more injection of religion and faith yes. into the presidential discussions than I can remember in a long and time. And it's appalling. Would you speak to your feelings about that? It is absolutely that? appalling. And uh, the Democrats are as bad as the Republicans. They had a debate one night where each of them described in detail uh, how important Jesus was in their life. You know what Thomas Jefferson would be turning over in his grave? Thomas Jefferson was personally a religious man. He believed in God, but he never would allow his religion to be in any way uh, part of his public life. He regarded religion as private. And I have to tell you that the one Democrat I was somewhat proud of, I wish he had stopped when I was proud of her, uh, was Hillary Clinton when she said, uh, you know, we, uh, me as a Methodist, we don't wear our religion on our sleeves. I can only tell you that my faith did help me during times of crisis. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear what your policies are. I think Barack Obama has way, way, way overdone uh, religion. I think he's trying to overcome the false notion that he has some sympathy with Islam, mm. and therefore he is more Christian than the Christians. And, you know, uh, I love what Romney said when he was running. He said, in America, anybody can run for president. We don't care about their religious views as long as they accept Jesus as their personal savior. So you can be a Mormon, a Catholic, a Protestant. I mean, what absurd bigotry. Um, You know, there was a period of time in America, in South Carolina, when a Jew was elected to the state legislature and he wouldn't take the oath on the New Testament and they refused to seat him. And he brought a lawsuit. And he said, if today you distinguish between Christian and Jew tomorrow, You'll start distinguishing among Protestants, and you'll have to take the oath on a particular Bible that represents the theology of a particular sect. That's not the America we have come to love. And they allowed him to sit. 